Hello, today I am taking you on a quintessentially British weekend to one of the prettiest English towns. Holt in Norfolk is known for its beautiful Georgian cottages and is a home to many art galleries and independent shops. It's a perfect place for me to show you the charm of small English town and the surrounding countryside. It's my first time in Norfolk, so I'm very excited for this trip. It's officially spring and the weather is perfectly average. We had a mix of rain and the sunshine within the span of an hour. We're making our first stop at the Gloucester Farm Shop, which always tempts us with a fantastic selection of freshly baked goods. It all looks and smells delicious and it is hard to pick just one. Mm. Mm. Cinnamon. This coffee is nice. Our journey from Somerset to Norfolk took about 5 hours. We arrived in Holt at twilight. We've been very fortunate to be invited to stay at Byfords of Holt, a luxury bed and breakfast at the heart of the town. I am enchanted by the room decor, the colors, the patterns, and very importantly, it's immaculately clean. What really stands out to me is the quality of the interior. The wooden floors, the antique nightstands, the fabrics are all exquisite. Fabrics and upholstery featuring patterns and prints are traditional for British style. Recently, I felt that I really want to bring more of this into my own house. So this room is truly an inspiration. <laughs> my life with an influencer. <laughs> Move the TV out of the frame. Thank you, Javi. Our two children stayed at home with my mom. She's currently visiting us, staying in our house. So thanks to this, we are able to experience this child-free, relaxed, very quiet weekend away. After five long hours in the car, I am definitely putting this bath tube to use. We're having a table booked for 8 p.m. So that's just enough time for a relaxing bath. <laughs> In the meantime, my husband is being a typical dad in charge of the remote control. It's nearly time to go for our dinner. We don't have many occasions to go out with my husband in the evening, so this feels pretty special. It's even better that the restaurant is just downstairs in our hotel, so I don't have to worry about feeling cold and wearing a coat. After the starters, I had a curry and Andre enjoyed salmon. Everything was delicious and my favorite thing was the blueberry lavender cordial with no alcohol. It was my first time drinking lavender and it definitely has this wow factor. It's delicious. Of course, we also indulged in some lovely desserts. The whole of the evening was wonderful. It is nice to sometimes step out of the mom's shoes and just be his girl again. My husband wakes up with the chickens, so we started our day around 6 a.m. It was very peaceful, slow morning. We spent a couple of hours reading and sharing silly memes. 
we almost never get quiet mornings like this at home, so we made sure to make the most of it. The breakfast at Byford was incredible. We started with coffee and pastries and then followed by the Byford hash, which honestly was gigantic but very delicious. Relaxed and with full bellies, we went out to explore the town. Holt is a charming little place, teeming with life. Some of the little courtyards and smaller alleys made me think of the diagonally. People shopping, talking, laughing. It was a pleasure to be there and be part of this. I bought some lovely rose tea and while walking around the town we stumbled upon Fairfax and Faber. I am a fan of the brand but I never shopped in person before and let me tell you the experience was remarkable. The ladies working in the shop were extremely kind and I ended up buying a handbag and a pair of shoes. This set will be perfect for the coming spring and summer. It was a little bit of an investment, but I know the quality of Fairfax and Favor products will allow me to wear those pieces for years to come. Naturally, I wouldn't be myself if I didn't visit a local churchyard. It was a little oasis of peace in a lively town and all those spring flowers, purple crocuses and yellow daffodils made my heart very happy. One more stop at the Holt Bookshop. I love reading, but I have too many unread books, so I am on a self-imposed van. But just look at my husband giggling at the smooth books. believe I am admitting to this, but yes, there is more cake. We were kindly gifted a carrot cake, which is my favorite cake, so I just couldn't say no. We took this as an opportunity for a little afternoon break in our room before we set to explore another historic property. Welcome to Blickling Hall and the estate. Those stately houses never cease to amaze me with their size and splendor. Blickling Estate is definitely one of the finest examples of stately homes we've visited so far. Of learning about the history of the places we visit because I believe it helps me to understand the world around me a little bit more. Many of the traditions and customs that we sometimes see as outdated are deeply rooted in history and just for that reason should be continued. There is a quote about not knowing history that it is like being a leaf that doesn't know it's part of the tree. And my personal experience tells me that being rooted or belonging or knowing you're part of the tree whatever you call it, is one of the most important things in life. We had a lovely slow walk admiring the grounds of Blickling Estate and the signs of spring are very visible. Beautiful prime roses and a sea of daffodils adorn the lawns, making me feel like a character in Pride and Prejudice. Spring is such a lovely time to romanticize your life. Nature waking up, all the colors and sounds and scents makes romanticizing the ordinary moments truly easy. Mm -hmm. 
Back at the hotel, we indulged in some afternoon tea and yes, more sweets. Going back to my one chocolate a day will be very difficult when we come back home, but I'm enjoying it while it lasts. For dinner, we ate a very good pizza, which I forgot to film, and it was already time to wind down and go to our very comfortable bed. Our last morning in Holt started grey and gloomy. My husband woke us up at 5.30, so we decided to walk in the forest before breakfast. The forest is coming back alive with buds opening into the first green leaves of the year. We kept on walking and admiring the Norfolk landscape until it started raining, just in time to snuggle up in the warm, comfortable Byford restaurant for a delicious breakfast. We couldn't leave without going to the sea. It's furthest east within the UK we've ever been. We had a lovely time in Holt and Byford Hotel and we hope we will be back here one day.